the constant battles right they actually dealt with flooding last year when you remember around hurricane season so we will be talking about some severe weather uh, this upcoming week I hope you join us for our severe weather special happening next weekend but for now let's get to the weather that we're expecting for this weekend let's not jump too far ahead I just wanted to tell you what's in store uh, regional temperatures we have 70s out there for 10 o'clock at night not bad that's pretty warm for a nighttime temperature and guess what tonight our temperatures really won't drop down too much we had that warm front lift into our ear area that brought all the warm air dew points also very high look at these dew point numbers we have uh, dew points ranging from the low 60s to the 70s and whenever our dew points close to our air temperature like that that means our air is saturated that's when you get that stuffy feel the air you can wear as I like to say because you feel it on your skin when it's humid like this it really doesn't evaporate it just kind of hangs out it's like stepping out of the shower and it's uh, just hard to dry off as you look at it, the overnights we remain stuffy cloudy and an overnight shower is possible from midnight and beyond going into tomorrow but the real action isn't happening until tomorrow evening that's when we're going to expect some storms to start draping across our area that's associated with a cold front that will be dragging through right now all this warm air is pumping in from the Gulf something you guys are pretty familiar with now that we're approaching spring which isn't too far away remember March begins on Monday and spring is around March 20th at least uh, that's spring the vernal equinox as many of you go by as we look at tomorrow we do have some evening storms as I just mentioned 76 degrees ahead of that cold front that will be passing through so we will have a very warm start to tomorrow again temperature is not dropping down too much for tonight only going into the 60s for tonight for tomorrow will be in the 70s 80 in some spots and then those skies will open up and since that atmosphere is so rich with moisture you can expect a couple downpours out there that's the way it works so future skycast here at 10 a.m. tomorrow it will start off slow we'll have a few light showers temperatures warm at 10 a.m. still in the 70s so similar how we're feeling right now very stuffy as we go into five o'clock I advance this forward because again we do have an isolated storm chance but it really doesn't kick on until later tomorrow evening so here we are around 7 45 8 o'clock that's when we can expect those storms the best chance for those storms to start bubbling up right around sunset or right after sunset that's when we will have a little bit of instability out there and we could see some of those storms strong to severe producing some hail look at Monday morning we will have a drenching out there in some parts of the area and then after that moves through that rain kind of sticks around in more of a scattered form for Monday afternoon so the SPC did put us under a marginal risk for tomorrow which is one out of five it is lower on the threat scale but it is mentionable so weather impacts this is what we could be looking at uh, mainly gusty winds and hail so those are the two things we do have a tornado threat but it's fairly low doesn't mean it can't happen it just means it's lower gusty winds and hail is more possible with these storms for tomorrow and it will be fairly isolated here's our seven day forecast you can see for tomorrow 76 again very warm and then after that our temperatures kind of go up and down for the rest of the week Monday for the first day of March mid 50s and then Tuesday 60s warming back up midweek and then cooling back down for in time for the weekend